it's just better to focus on one thing so that you get that thing done properly and then you are over and done with that thing and then do something else thank you lord for your mercy that abides in me hi what's up welcome to my channel my name is tandega and if you are new here please consider subscribing because i make videos like this one all the time yesterday i uploaded a video talking about my productive daily habits and today i thought i'd share with you um an advice or some tips from one of my favorite youtubers on how to get stuff done and get crap done son the first tip that i'm gonna relay from miss akana that is to stop multitasking it's just not advisable to actually multitask is it advisable a word because i like it Apparently, I have not read those studies yet, but studies have shown that multitasking is just not efficient. And I, for one, have always known this. I am not a great multitasker. I just need to focus on one thing and get that thing done. But even if you are somebody who thinks, you know what, I totally can multitask, chances are you actually not working efficiently. It's just better to focus on one thing so that you get that thing done properly and then you are over and done with that thing and then do something else. The second thing from Miss Akana, she says prioritize. You might know this, are you an adult? You are you an adult? Either way, learn to prioritize. That is also focusing on result-oriented tasks. So which ones are more important? Do those first. What results do you want to see from that? You know, make sure your goals are result-oriented so that you can know that you've achieved something, obviously. Ah, uh, I did that. I've achieved that. What's the least important thing that I need to get done today? I probably should not start with that thing. What specific measurements can you put in place to actually see that this is the goal that was achieved? Because you might even get there and not even see that you got there, sister girl. The last thing is to always be realistic. We can put so much pressure on ourselves when we set goals and we don't achieve those things. It really breaks you because you feel like I didn't do enough. But you might have done enough, but your goals were just a bit unrealistic. Just this is why measurements are so important you use your own personal measurements in terms of like how is this process going for me how is this process going to be in the next month and the next five months so that you can set realistic goals i've been there i sometimes am there so i'm really learning to set realistic goals so that i don't feel crushed but it's also really important to dream big i think this is like a fine line between being unrealistic and between dreaming big i'm just gonna let you figure that one out but just try to be somewhere in there where you are realistic with your goals realistic with your dreams but also you really dreaming big you get what i'm saying i know you do sometimes you might not achieve all the things that you wanted to achieve even if you have worked super hard and your goals were so realistic you dreamt big but also your goals were realistic but sometimes it just doesn't happen that is unfortunately life anyway that's all i just wanted to share please comment down below and let me know some of the things that you do to actually get crap done and in what in i'm losing words so i'm just gonna stop talking if you enjoyed this video please like it and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't until the next video stay awesome